out. Literally, they are in walkers. They are in wheelchairs. They're boarding a bus right now to be taken away. Now, people that live in that area are headed to evacuation centers as well. There are four ones to tell you about. Crosswalk Community Church, that is on First Street in Napa, as this well as the Napa County Fairgrounds on North Oaks in Calistoga. Finley Community Center, nearly at capacity as well as Santa Rosa Veterans Memorial Hall building. It's now opening as well. There's concerns they may need even more evacuation centers. So as they open, we'll of course let you know about that. All right now we want to go to Tom Jensen. He's at Kaiser in Santa Rosa and 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 Tom, what's going on where you are right now? Look, this is how crazy it is. There's a fire kicking up right here next to the hospital where we are right now next right where the bus was going to go. It's swung around uh, with all of those patients to the other side of the parking lot here heading out toward the north. Now they were trying to go out to the south. A fire has now started right here next to Kaiser uh, Permanente. And so now you know why they're trying to get all of these people out here. Not only the smoke, but the fire danger here is extremely serious. I mean, we're in town right now and another spot fire has kicked up right here. So uh, this situation is changing so quickly. This is, I've been on a lot of fires and I have never seen anything like this before. Um, this bus, the one bus that we showed you earlier is now full of patients and it's heading out, as I said, trying to find an evacuation uh, location. Finley Community Center is full. I don't know if you heard that, but there was another explosion uh, just not too far from us. Uh, we don't know. We don't know what these explosions are coming from, whether they're cars or possibly a, a fuel tank at somebody's house, a gas, uh, you know, some sort of gas line or something. You can see the flames kicking up behind these vehicles that are driving into the hospital parking lot right now. People are actually running for their lives. Uh, we've got people in wheelchairs getting pushed out of here. We've got people with respirators, Tom, do you know uh, where IVs. They were from? Uh, this is a situation like, pardon? Do you know where, uh, we're looking at them bring a person on a, a, a bed. Uh, do you know where they were coming from? It's like they were coming from where the fire They've is. got a patient on a bed, right. They've got a patient on a bed with IVs hooked oh up God. that they're bringing out right now. Um, this is an extremely volatile situation. As I said, nothing. I, I was on the Yellowstone fires. I haven't seen anything like this as far as being close to structures, being close to a large population of people. Nothing like this before. Spot fires actually kicking up in town. You know, we've heard about them blowing up all over in the forest when these wildfires start, but. Uh, this is a situation like uh, these uh, emergency crews here have probably never seen before. Uh, They're just scrambling in every direction. I can imagine how hard it is to keep on top of this. I can't imagine. This is heartbreaking to see this hospital being evacuated. You see the fire burning so close. But getting all these people out, Tom, do they plan to take any defensive mode at all to protect the hospital? Can they possibly get all these people out? Are there firefighters around that you see? We, we do not see another bus coming in right now. I don't know how quickly they're able to get them out. I see a man in a wheelchair just off to my right toward the hospital right now. They're going to load him into a car. I think they're putting this, I don't know if they're putting that person in the bed in the back of a truck. Um, but they are trying to get people out here as quickly as they can in any vehicle it looks like that they can get them in. That just tells you right there how extremely dangerous this situation is. That fire now moving even a little bit closer to where we are. We, we feel relatively safe right here because there is so much parking lot uh, between us and the fire. But uh, we don't know what's on the other side of that fire. What kind of structures are over there? How many people might be over there? It, this is uh, this is just in a crazy situation. I'm a nurse or doctor just ran by me getting to their vehicle uh, right now and getting out. So I see a lot of people. Moving I'm there. seeing I'm seeing medical personnel running to their vehicles and getting out of here. I, I was going to say I would see a lot of people running to their cars. Are they are they being told to evacuate like leave in their cars or or are they just deciding to to do this on their own? Okay, now she looks like she looks like she's pulling up to get patients out wow. in her own vehicle. And just bringing so this own is cars uh, over to that's take what's going on. Okay. 
Yeah, it, pardon me on that. I, she is not uh, evacuating. She's actually helping get patients out in her own vehicle, it looks like. Wow, you see the desperate need uh, this, there. Like I said, this is a situation car. unlike... And Tom, I know this, but is that where that, that spot fire is that we can see in the distance, is that an entrance? Because um, I see cars coming from, are they coming from a street? Are they coming from another parking lot? I, I'm just trying to get a gauge of what that, where that is. I'm going to walk just, I'm not going to get too close to it, but I'm going to walk up into another position here, you guys, and see if I can see what that is. It looks like it's just at the end of the parking lot, um, you know, off of the highway. Um, we're just uh, east of the highway here, and um, it looks like it's just burning in some trees uh, right now, trees and brush over there. I do not see any structures involved uh, from my location here, but the smoke is so thick uh, that you can't see through it. Oh, on the other side of those trees, uh, through the trees, I can see that that fire is not just a small fire burning back there. It looks like it's, it's actually spreading uh, farther to the, uh, to the west from the location where you're where you're seeing the flames right there. I don't know how far to the west it goes because the trees are so thick. Uh, and, right. and people are upset. We, we've had people yelling at us as they're trying to get, uh, one man I, was bringing his pregnant wife out of here just a few minutes ago and he actually uh, you know, started uh, yelling at us. And you can imagine people are really upset uh, yeah, trying to get their loved ones out of here. He told us that his, that his house had already uh, burned. I talked to an elderly gentleman here when I first arrived on the scene. Uh, he said that he's afraid that his house is his house is burned down um, because it was so close. This is I, this man's yelling at us. I no, guess. I know. Um, I know. I, 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 these people are just really upset. Their it, homes are burning. Of course, the tensions are high. I mean, you've got sick people here being brought out. Okay, we want to tell people just stay with me, Tom. Here, just bring you up to speed right now. This is the Kaiser Hospital in Santa Rosa, off of 101 and Bicentennial Way. These are live pictures coming to you right now. The hospital is being evacuated. You see the glow of the fire in the distance there. That is how close the fire is to this hospital. We have literally seen them pull people out on gurneys, rolling them through with IVs. Other people in walkers, people in wheelchairs, just being loaded into ordinary person cars to get them out of the hospital and then we've seen like you said people pulling up in their own cars to try to get people to safety as well and that spot fire which we saw was actually the area that one of those evacuation buses was going to travel but no, then they had to all. find another way to get out of that hospital as you can see there uh, people just trying to get patients into what looks like the um, healthcare personnel cars they're just trying to Whatever get they as can many, do just to get these, get people, these people out, out of the uh, hospital that is a threat right now because of, of that fire as it spreads. As we saw, that spot fire started and, right there in the parking and lot. And the thing is, this is just one of many fires burning in Sonoma and Napa counties. We just happened to bring you this. Look at them run in with these wheelchairs to escort these people out. We don't even know the capacity of how many people are possibly in that hospital. Right. You're talking about ICUs, you know, there's babies, there's a pregnant woman as well. And I mean, these are the people that we've been able to see that they've been able to take out and just put into their personal cars to take away. It's heartbreaking. Yeah, like you said, the first set of people we saw they were able to walk out some maybe uh, with walkers but they were able to walk out and then we saw someone pulling someone out on a bed with IVs coming out just trying to get them to safety the best way they can this is a scene that we're likely seeing at other right, hospitals in the area uh, and and Tom tell us about what you're seeing now it seems like a lot more activity going on where you are right now there is. We're just seeing all kinds of cars pulling up. It looks like a lot of the hospital personnel are bringing their personal vehicles up here now and getting people out. Uh, a lot of people really getting heated, and you can imagine why uh, you really have to fill for these people. They've got loved ones in here. Uh, the hospital personnel are caring for these people, of course, so they've got that connection with them, and they're very concerned about the the health and safety of these people, a lot of them, uh, you know, already with respiratory issues and other issues uh, where the smoke uh, could just weaken their systems or, uh, you know, affect their lungs if they do have respiratory issues, heart conditions. Uh, this, is, uh, this is an extremely, extremely tense uh, and as I said before, volatile situation here with that fire kicking up so close to us and all around us, really, there are fires um, burning in this area. Uh, as you said uh, earlier, uh, at least uh, you know a dozen or more fires. Uh, so 
We don't, we don't know where they're taking these evacuees still, but we do see more police vehicles now, more sheriff's vehicles uh, coming in here to also assist and get the patients out. This, uh, people are just scrambling everywhere. We've got uh, patients and, uh, and medical personnel. Uh, we see an RN coming by us right now, just doing what they can to get these patients out of here. This is you know, a, a volatile situation, as I said, but also it's, you can see how this community is already coming together uh, to help each other out. And it, earlier, we were, uh, talked to uh, one of our stringer photographers who lives up here. He said that he saw people and, and he was participating in this going door to door, knocking on doors and telling people to get out of their homes because a lot of people were sleeping when these fires started. So. This, uh, this situation is changing every second now, you guys. And I can't imagine for people watching that may have loved ones in that hospital right now, we're trying to gather information as to how you can find out their safety as well as they're evacuating Kaiser Hospital. This is up in Santa Rosa off of 101 and Bicentennial Way this morning. Tom, we're going to keep you there. We know it's a busy kind of harrowing situation there as you uh, continue to gather more information right now. It, it's just heartbreaking to see this. Yeah, I've never the, seen anything like this.